Ladies and gents, welcome back. Over the weekend, we got a clear, concise victory for the leadership of the Conservative Party in Canada. We now have our federal leader of the Conservative Party. Congratulations to new leader Pierre Poulivier. Now, this was a concise win here with 68. 1.5% of the vote. Uh, the nearest front runner was Jean Charest with his 16.07%. So <laughs> clearly a landslide. Uh, Leslin Lewis coming in at just under 10% of the vote. Uh, Baber at 5% of the vote. Now, <laughs> he had his victory speech, and it was a really good one. I'll give you some, uh, just a small clip of this from True North. There's many clips going out. I'll put a link in the description down below. It goes much longer. It's four minutes long, so you can check out the whole one. But uh, just pointing out some of the more poignant bits here. We must remove other unneeded barriers by axing the disastrous Arrive Can app. Very popular point of view there. <laughs> And, and by ending the remaining COVID vaccine mandates to let people work and travel freely. I think a lot of the fans of this channel will be very keen on that concept as well. My government will not poke its nose into everything. A smaller federal government will help Quebec citizens and Canadian citizens grow citizens who own their homes, build their dreams, raise their families, look out for their neighbors, and earn powerful paychecks and savings free from inflation and overtaxation. We will restore Canada's promise in a country where it doesn't matter who you love or if your name is Smith or Singh, Martin or Mohammed, Chang or Charles, a country where the dreamer, the farmer, the worker, the entrepreneur, the survivor, the fighter, the ones who get knocked down but keep getting back up and keep going can achieve their purpose. A country where the son of a teenage mother adopted by two teachers can dare to run for Prime Minister of Canada. They get an overwhelming applause for that one there. So congratulations to uh, Pierre Polyev on his win here in the Conservative Party again, <laughs> landslide victory. Now, we can go back and we can see how the media has looked at landslide victories in the past. Uh, the media, when just when Justin Trudeau back in 2013 won his landslide victory of 80, what was it, 80,000 votes for him, <laughs> as opposed to the 300,000 that Pierre Poliev just got. Trudeau wins Liberal Party leadership landslide. These are some of the headlines from back in 2013. Justin Trudeau elected liberal leader in a landslide. Wow. Wow. National Post saying Justin Trudeau elected liberal leader in landslide victory. Justin Trudeau secured an overwhelming first ballot victory 45 years to the month after his father became leader of Canada's liberal party. Justin Trudeau wins liberal leadership. Justin Trudeau won the Liberal leadership by landslide, grabbing 80% of the required points. Uh, now we look fast forward to today. <laughs> CTV News saying, little surprise in Pierre Polyev's writing about conservative leadership win, downplaying um, a lot of this by saying, uh, yeah, he won't forget a name. It's uh, famous that he uh, he remembers people's names and, and uh, things about them. Tremendous memory of people and their names. Uh, not everyone is so enthusiastic. Wow. Congratulations from CTV here. Uh, who else do we have? Pierre Pouliev wins conservative leadership race, Toronto star. Pierre swept the vote, handing him a decisive mandate and setting the stage for a new era in Canadian politics. Ottawa Pierre Pouliev decisively won leadership of the conservative party Saturday night, setting the stage for a new area era in Canadian politics, decisively, um, I think landslide would be a, a better word for it. His stunning and substantial first ballot victory marks a generational change for conservative politics and resolute endorsement of his campaign central strategy. That outreach, that outreach to the disconnected and disaffected path to power. 
They go on to say things like Pierre Polyev, 43, never once took his foot off the gas. Over a seven-month campaign fueled by anger and frustrations of national emerging of the nation emerging from the COVID-19 pandemic, uncertain about what comes next, the seven-term Ottawa MP drew hundreds of thousands of people to his bid from communities so as diverse as the so-called Freedom Convoy movement and the upper echelons, uh, moving moving them up to the upper echelons of conservative establishment. This uh, so-called journalist, uh, not going as far as calling them deplorables. <laughs> oh, wait, what's this? The Toronto Star is taking talking points from Hillary Clinton now, evidently. If you disagree with the establishment, you are deplorable. This coming from Bob Hepburn from the Toronto Star. Pierre Polyev's callous courting of Canada's deplorables. Yes, that's right. He uh, He's courting the deplorables. Like Trump, Polyvia is potentially leading us down the same dark and nasty road. <laughs> Trump has taken Americans all in a sleazy bid to attain power. Ah, goodness. In the article, he goes on to talk about how horrible it was for Hillary Clinton to label, what was it, about 45 million Americans as the basket of deplorables, uh, giving them all kinds of epithets about their uh, proclivities to being racists or uh, misogynistic, things like that. Uh, he then doubles down and calls half the Canadians deplorables. Goodness, goodness. So this is the uh, this is the road we're going down with this one. This is the liberal cope right now in Canada. Remember, Trudeau won his landslide victory in 2013 with 80,000 votes. The Liberal Party membership is free, by the way. Just so you know, if you want to vote in their uh, for their leadership races, you don't have to pay a cent. Every one of those 300,000 votes for Pierre Polyev came with a $15 membership. There's... <laughs> <laughs> There's no uh, just jumping in there and throwing a vote away. This is uh, in response to Ian Morrison saying approximately 3,000 people just voted for Pierre Polyev. Sounds like a lot, but it's 5%, 5.2% of conservative voters uh, and 1.1% 1 1 of eligible voters in Canada. Uh, don't forget this landslide in quotes is internal to the CPC and the rest of Canada will have something to say about it in the next election. Now, this is the liberal cope of trying to downplay 300,000 voters in a party leadership race. This is unheard of. This is this is groundbreaking. This is something that's never happened in Canada. So they, again, they were bragging about 80,000 votes for Justin Trudeau saying that that was unheard of. 300,000 should be a giant celebration for the amount of activity going into civics right now people doing their civic duty and joining these parties now the pleb who's normally a uh, a culture jamming uh satirical journalist as, as he calls himself he him <laughs> in the bio rumors circulating that gerald butts allegedly organized a massive underground campaign to get liberals to buy cpc memberships to vote for jean charret if this is true and he succeeds, this will be the biggest political coup in Canadian history and the CPC is done. Now, I, I'm not sure if this was satire. <laughs> I think it was satire that it, that it was behind, that Gerald Butts was behind it. But he goes on to show a bunch of tweets that, are, that were circulating out there of people who actually were doing this. Getting memberships for the Conservative Party to vote for Jean Charest in the hopes of getting Pierre Polyev out and not have him be the leader. Here's one of the leaders of the Blue Anons claiming that uh, he was the organizer of the Pierre coup. Uh, Jerry didn't do this, I did, along with a network of social media ninjas. Take a seat and learn about how democracy works, pleb. Uh, here's another example. I spent $15 on, in my life on plenty of stuff worse than trying to stop Pierre Polyev. Putting up with the incessant emails has been a small price to pay to vote against Pierre Polyev. I bought my membership on all on my own and voted Charay and put PP last. Example four, bought my membership to tell Pierre Polyev 
to go duck himself. Uh, the pleb goes on to say there's hundreds of these leftists bragging on Twitter that they bought memberships to vote against Pierre Polyev. I can go on for hours with examples. And the very next example is I'm uh, I'm one of them and it's not hundreds. It's thousands. Parts of, part of democracy is having a say in who the leaders of a party are. I voted against PP to ensure a healthy opposition party, not one led by a <laughs> bad word. And those and who has never worked outside of government, um, I think uh, Sheree, this person didn't do their homework, worked for government and then went on to work for a Chinese government party uh, lobbying the Canadian government. So good luck with that one. Let's not forget that this was a landslide. So if this is true and Sheree got a lot of support from the Liberal Party in this, well, that would just put Pierre Polyev in much more of a landslide <laughs> if these allegations are true. Now, I put it out there just saying Pierre Polyev will win the next election for Prime Minister of Canada if he sticks to his message. The question is, will he follow through? He needs to undo everything Trudeau did since getting into office and undoing a lot of this division as well. Now, it's not going to be easy because there's going to be a lot of people on the left sowing division using using uh, Pierre Polyev's rhetoric and spinning it as they've been doing throughout this campaign. Expect this to get a lot worse, uh, trying to use basically the Trump derangement syndrome that we've seen south of our border being applied to Pierre Polyev. This is uh, a tactic that they've been doing we have uh, Viva Fry saying, this is not a look I look, or this is not a, I look forward to working with Justin Trudeau movement, a moment for Pierre Pouliev. It needs to be a, I look forward to booting Trudeau from office and dismantling everything he has done over the last six years, because if it's not, Pierre Pouliev is no better than Trudeau. And I, <laughs> I'm going to have to say I agree with that wholeheartedly. Absolutely. Um, and I <laughs> just wanted to throw this last one in here. I saw this this morning. And the winner for the most racist things said in Canada today is, and here's uh, Bernard Rolinski on Twitter replying to a tweet that uh, Pierre Polyev put out there uh, saying, getting ready for showtime, him with his wife and children. Uh, this man says, looking at Anna Polivier, I really feel sorry for mail order brides. I wonder if she knew what she was getting into. Hashtag skinny Trump. So here's that Trump derangement syndrome coming out and showing itself full force in uh, the most, well, horrendous epithets and the most horrendous accusations that you could think of. But yes, it's an ugly thing that we're seeing from the left, an ugly thing. Uh, but it's it's expected, expected, absolutely. So leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me think. Let me know what you think of the whole situation. Uh, did you support Pierre Polyev? Do you not support Pierre Polyev? Uh, are you looking forward to voting for somebody else, possibly in a general election? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> and well, as always, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, we'll leave a like, and we'll see you in the next one. Keep on trucking.